Today Canon announced the T2i. Now if you haven't already gone and purchased a 7D or a 5D yet, wait until the end of this month. The new T2i is coming out and at the very least, from looking at the sample videos, it will have the same exact video quality as the 7D. And it's going to be around half the price. I think it's going to be around $7.99 from Amazon for just the body. And then an extra $100 to get the 18 to 55 uh, lens with IS. Now I'll do a whole another series of videos when that camera comes out, but definitely if you're you're on a tight budget and uh, you need a, a great video camera with the same size sensor as a 7D, basically the T2i has almost the same sensor as the 7D. It's half the speed in frames per second. Um, definitely the 7D will be the better still camera, but the T2i will have nearly exactly the same video quality. It has all the exact same video modes, 1080p and 720p, and another benefit, it records on SDHC cards. So definitely it'll even cost less to record. One other thing is that I believe the recording limit is still going to be the same. Um, it might change depending on the, the SDXC cards. Um, we'll have to wait until more videos and more tests come out but I believe it still has the same 12 minute limit in 1080p and 720p mode and 30 minute limit in the 480p mode. Another really exciting feature is that it has a 7x zoom amplification mode. Now with the 7D you can see in live view that that amplification usually use it for uh, focusing but the T2i will actually be able to record that mode and it says right now that it will be a standard definition. But the exciting thing about that is it'll be a one to one ratio of what you see is what you get. So definitely I hope, I hope that that can be implemented into the 7D. Certainly if you're waiting to buy a still camera for video or movie purposes, wait until the T2i comes out on the 24th of this month. If you want a better still camera, the 7D is definitely still better still camera. Uh, the 5D Mark II is definitely a better still camera than even the 7D. But if you want it just for movie mode purposes, wait until the 24th. That camera should be a huge hit and it's an amazing value for $799.